time when God is not satisfied with where we are. And when I say when God is not satisfied with where we are, I'm saying that God can release to us opportunities. But if within our mind and within our spirit, if we're not ready for really what God wants to release to us, then we sit there stuck within our life with within our environment within our paradigm we become stuck we become immobile because we're looking for god to do something and god is looking for us to do something there was a difference between waiting on god and god waiting on you and oftentimes i've shared that while we're waiting on god god was ready when we were created he's waiting on us to move and because he's waiting on us to move, then we have responsibilities in order to move within those business ventures or move within our family progress or move when it comes to our personal life or our career. It may be schooling, but regardless, we have to move. Now, as, as God is operating in our lives, please note this, and we're going to explain it. Please note that God is not going to give you every detail. Please also note that God is only going to give you as much information as you can handle. The next thing that I need to tell you is that God is not going to tell you he's working on your behalf. He's expecting for you to maintain faith while he's working. One more time. God is expecting for you to maintain faith while he is working. And the enemy is going to try to stop you from believing God. And he's going to try to put anything and everything in your mind to try to make you think God is not for you. God is not with you. God is against you. God is not, God is not answering your prayer. And the reality is, and always remember this, when the devil starts talking to you in your ear, it is only because he's trying to distract you from what God really is doing. Because God is doing some tremendous things in your life, but God doesn't do like us. God doesn't tell somebody what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. The bottom line is, is that after God says that he is going to do something in your life, he then cuts off communication. And next thing you know, when he drops something on you, he drops opportunity in front of you. And you've got to be ready to move within that opportunity. And he's not going to cause fireworks to come and oh, it's going to be some big holy experience and I saw angels flapping in my face. No, 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 nothing like that. God opens up opportunity because if God did all of that, then everybody would be drawn to your opportunity. God then smoothly releases the opportunity to you because he wants you to be able to step into it without anybody knowing that you're operating in transition. And this is why, this is why the enemy spends literally so much time trying to take your mind away from what God really has for your life because there is something in you that actually is greater than your present. Your future is so phenomenal and your future is so big until it bucks your present and it makes your present feel uncomfortable it makes you feel like there is more for my life and God has more for me and your present is so uncomfortable because your future is kicking in every aspect that it can saying let me out of here because God's got greater for us and we can't stay satisfied in this point in our life so you start looking for God's opportunities and you try, start getting sensitive to God's opportunities. Please understand that while God is opening you up, the enemy also understands that a sensitive point of you is open and vulnerable. And so he seizes that opportunity to ring, ring, give you a phone call from someone that has a negative seed that they want to plant in your sensitive heart to try to get you to doubt or to get out of the atmosphere of the will of God. Woo! This is so important because you have to look at the fact that as God is moving, please don't forget that Satan is moving too. The Bible makes a statement that, that, that when the sons of God came together, the Bible says, and Satan came also with them. 
And God asked him, he said, where you been? He said, up and down, to and fro. I've been looking around. What you been looking for? I've been looking to see what trouble I can get in. I've been looking to see who I can make doubt. I can, I've been looking to see who I can intimidate. I've been looking to see who I can get to not to follow their dream and their vision. I've been looking to see who I can actually make insecure. And make them believe that because it took a long time, it's not coming. You have no idea that if the enemy can get you just to stay in bed that day. See, the thing is, the thing is, is that if God has ordained this brother to bless me at church, then the enemy can't stop him from blessing me unless I'm not there. And so he tempts me to stay in bed. You don't need to go to church today. Why don't you go to church some other time? Watch it on television. Why don't you look at it on the internet? And what happens is, is that even though I can get the word on the internet, my blessing may be in the house. And I need to be where God wants me to be because I want what God wants for me. I like you, but I don't want your stuff. I want my stuff. Borrowing your car is good if I got to go up to the store. But when I need to go, when I want to go and you gone, I don't like your car no more. I want my own. And so God then opens up opportunity. But that means we got to do something. We got to perceive it. We got to perceive within our spirit that God's got something greater. We have to perceive within our spirit. And that perception deals with accuracy in your spirit. I've got to know right now that this is what God has ordained for my life.